Good morning, folks. I wish I lived in a country where if they're going to modify the weather with cloud seeding, they'll tell you about it. Jakarta, Indonesia, dumping tons in hopes of avoiding their deadly floods. Australia has even seeded for hydroelectric power and irrigation and didn't lie about it. The legal loophole used by the U.S. government is implied consent. When the airplane contrails disperse non-homogeneously and linger regardless of hot or cold, you know what's happening. I've shown the patents. Now I'm really pissed off. Charles Fletcher, with what's dubbed as the climate change book for college, gives all credit to man-made carbon emissions, ignores the magnetosphere failure and the magnetic pole shift, ignores cosmic rays and the slight solar variability climate forcing, even though NASA is making their opposite thoughts so clear that they're re-releasing this article every few days through their various arms and groups. Yes, this is that same January 8th article. It's all about the sun and our interface with it. And by the way, when I said people probably shouldn't be living on coastlines anywhere, I wasn't kidding. And I realize that's a serious statement and no, they haven't gone there yet, but the trend is towards my suggestion. A 6.3 in Kazakhstan was downgraded immediately to 6.0. World meters were all over the place, 6.4, 6.5. 6.8 is doubtful, but it was surely a significant quake. Some traditional earthquakes have been replaced by magmatic movement underneath the White Island volcano in New Zealand. In Australia, Oswald remnants refused to leave the party. Queensland coast inundated with up to 10, 12, 15 feet of sea foam. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Madagascar, like a boss seeing Cyclone Felling, too scared to come ashore. He's a messy beast though, so you'll feel him either way. High pressure over New Zealand. It's going to have the weather pretty nice for a while. Meanwhile, the low pressure boundary on the Australian coast has been wet and will continue. RSOE tells me the flooding has begun in Ireland. We've expected major precipitation as this large low drives moisture along the southern pressure boundary. The rain is going to continue pretty much on that line. North America has that same system driving air on the leading east edge from way down in Mexico across the entire US and into Canada. Where on this map you can see that warmth drawing up across the border. The severe weather threat is on. Watches are in place. I know it's January, but this is not a joke, and there will be dangerous conditions for two straight days in this part of the country. Spaceship Earth, missing some neutron data on the left. Muon network on the right shows cosmic ray density still falling. The filament eruption CME has probably missed Earth, and the coronal hole stream has ended, slowly flattening as geomagnetic disturbances disappear as well. Well, the sun gave us one C flare. I know she can do better. All the sunspots look like they need some help, even this big guy on the limb showing himself now. We also have these coronal holes turning in. The northern one is much larger, but the little guy out front is closer to the equator. Watch the limb. You will see a north-south oriented plasma filament emerging through the coronal particles and begins to dance above the solar surface. We've seen eruptions set off other eruptions on the sun, and a titanic blast off the backside this morning may have destabilized this one as well. For all I know, it's erupting as I speak. Definitely got eyes on the eastern limb for the active region, the filament, and the coronal holes coming. We can do better than one C flare. Let's send the sun some love. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.